All right, we're back. Let's go, Mikey. Yeah, I was testing the stream on a different phone. Sorry about the delay between the uh, the outside and the inside. I just don't have the capability yet to uh, put them all together. So uh, we'll get there soon. How's everybody doing? Yeah, so like I mentioned, we have a three pound tomahawk steak sponsored by Twitch TV Insamnia. You can see him down below. I'll just move him up here a little bit. Maybe I'll just change the font. Color. Just the color. Can't change color. But yeah, here we go. That's better. There we go. There we go. That's good, that's good, that's good. So, all right, just to uh, show you this behemoth. That's my face. Oof. I know it looks a little charred, but. Damn. We got butter on here. Butter's kind of already like hard because it was cold outside. But. You know, we got, you know what I always wanted to do with the tomahawk? Bite into it. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh. Jesus, I don't even know, <clears throat> this thing is, give it a cut, I'll get to this bone later. Oh, surprisingly, I made my parents the same temperature and theirs came out looking much more rare than mine. Oh, this is my first time ever having a tomahawk and this is definitely a 10. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, so I went to Costco the other day and I was thinking maybe just a ribeye. And lo and behold, they had a tomahawk there, so... I had to do it. I had to do it, y'all. Came out more medium than I expe than I wanted. I don't know if you can see the color, but oh, it's juicy. juicy, so tender. This why to be my meat. Focus. Oh my god. So happy right now. So, so happy right now. <clears throat> and it's all thanks to you guys. I mean, if I wasn't streaming or, you know, if I didn't have you guys around. I will never be doing something like this. I'll be sitting at home kind of bored. Just, I will never like make a Tama. Oh, I mean, I, I never really did until now. And because of you guys, I have found, I have seen the vision. I realize how good this thing is and why 
I sh well, I haven't tried it yet. Close my mind. Well, Brad, man, it's good to see you again, bro. Welcome back. Been a minute. Oh, my day ones. I haven't really been playing games much. I mean, just PUBG. But I guess more of my streams have been more focused on eating lately. But all my day ones for sure. And you know, I'll never forget y'all. Onions. I don't know if you guys can hear how juicy this thing is. Like it. Yo, Miley, thanks for the follow. Look how. Look how easy I bite through that thing. It's not even. It's so tender. It's so juicy. I don't even know. What's good, Charlie? What's good, bro? Thanks for stopping by, man. <clears throat> so, one thing I like to do with some steak is uh, a little wasabi. My hands are so greasy, I can't do it. Thanks for the subscription, Carmi. I'm still working on the subscription dance, so um, sorry. <laughs> Ah, yeah, bro. The so I mean, I I know Carmen, Carmen streams once in a while. I know Carmen, um, Carmen streams a lot too. I wonder, are you guys still streaming? Oh, this wasabi. All I do is eat now. Get a little wasabi on here. Yo, wasabi's really good with meat. Like it's really good. It goes it goes well so well. Mm. Ooh. No, because like the fat of the meat kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's over the top, right? The fat kind of balances out how spicy it is. That's the thing. It actually makes it pretty damn good. I'll put it right, right here. I'll put a little dab. In. I got a few things, you know. I got a few things, you know, on the plate. Don't worry. The Budak sauce is coming out. And this is the same beer from like two weeks ago when I had, uh, actually last week. Was it last week that I had the beer? No, no two weeks ago. When I had the pizza at Whole Foods, just been sitting outside, I forgot about it, found it today, might as well drink it today. Forgot what it was, but it was an IP of some sort. Oh yeah, the cheap, oh, Reaper chili oil, bro. I should've, I should've, I should've talked. And then also we got a little, uh, got a little fancy, a little truffle mushrooms sauce. Yeah, next time I'll do it. Yeah, I gotta find my old trusty. Budak sauce. So I, I had the truffle sauce for a minute because uh, my sister went to Italy and brought it back for me. And I've been putting it on some steak lately and it's been pretty good. So why not? Why the hell not? And then, you know, the usual. It won't be a million mistake, you know, broadcast without a product sauce on food, right? Yeah, I had the plug for sure, for sure. 
I'm kind of like, I want to eat slow because I want to cherish this. Try some with the burdock sauce. Can you see it? Thanks, Ms. Samuel. Oh, man. I wish I could get... I need a better camera to make, make these things come through. Oh, truffle. Truffle on there. Ah, yeah. Mmm. Maybe you're right. <clears throat> Let's try the whole hand thing behind my hand. What? You see it? It's just oozing. It's just oozing with just dripping. With just juice. I think it's so juicy. Like, when have you been able to take a bite of steak this big and just bite into it and just melts? It melts in your mouth. Oh, you want me to describe the truffle sauce? So. I mean, I had the truffle fries and you know, all that. I mean, I didn't know what the hype about truffles was before, but man, truffles on steak. I mean, let me, let me, let me, I gotta try it again to um, explain how it tastes or how good it is. I mean, if you don't like mushrooms, I don't know, but uh, it's tr it's black truffle, it's black truffle sauce. It is. It's got this fragrance that I just can't. Exp it's hard for me to explain. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't eat fancy stuff enough, but it's like foie gras on another level. Butter like max times two, two, two hundred, three hundred. Just savory goodness. I mean, it's like once it enters your mouth, it's just. Feels like an explosion of just, uh, just liquid gold in your mouth. I mean, that's that's if you like mushrooms. Like honestly, if you don't like mushrooms, you might not like truffles as much. But it's just something about it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Today, I'm definitely eating all of this. This. I thought it was going to be too much. I mean, I trimmed it a little bit, so it came out to probably like around two and a half pounds. Maybe a little more or less, but. Oh, look at this. Look at this piece. See this? Rips. Like. It's like prime rib on another level. Another level, y'all. I'm gonna do this real quick. Give me a nice stab of truffle. And then give me a nice little helping of some wasabi. That's like every Japanese man's dream right here. Or a Korean man's dream. Mmm! <clears throat> The wasabi was too much. I'm gonna tell you guys now. I've been on stream like 15 minutes now. This thing's probably gonna be a short stream just because I'm gonna eat all these things too fast. Cause so damn good. I don't like to rush through the food or, or rush through the stream because you know I wanna sit and chat and whatnot, but I'm sorry. I'm just gonna 
I wanted to get fancy and use a fork, but I mean, once I bit into it, I can't. Man. Nah, so it's uh, 38 dollars a steak. So, because you know the stream is one steak, 38 dollars one steak. But it's three pounds. I mean, I bet you this thing could be probably like at least two or three people. Gotta go back for the truffle though. I feel steel. Thirty-eight dollar for two steaks. Damn. All I did for these um uh, was um salt and pepper and a little bit of this uh, barbecue rub that I had. That's probably why I got the char more honestly. Um, and then. I did add a little bit of truffle on there with some grape, grape seed oil and then just threw it in there, threw in the sous vide for three hours at about 135 and um, took it out, fired the grill up, throw it on. Oh, my camera's too bright. Try that. But you see the uh, now you can see the juicy. You can see how juicy it is now. Even like the fat, even the fat here is just. All you need is a little wasabi. Done. And I, um, the butter I drizzled it on top of uh, just uh, some thyme, oregano, um, rosemary, some garlic. A little dip in here. What are these things? This thing is like the perfect cut you ask for when you go get prime rib somewhere, you know? <clears throat> How often do I cook? Not much. I think the past two weeks has been cooking streams. Just because like what I wanted to eat or what I wanted to show you guys was um happened to be a like um something I like to cook and something I like to you know to eat. And like today, definitely steak. I love grilling. Um, uh, my summer like pretty pretty much in the summer I'll grill three four times. You know throughout the course of summer just like full out grill like on the patio get my grill up charcoal probably more than three four times i'd probably say i meant to say like probably three four times a month is there shin man oh man if only i had some i actually thought of i was like when i was preparing for the stream i was thinking that I thought maybe I should do some like kind of ramen at the end, but I don't know. I I, I don't want to because I don't want to. I want to savor this flavor. I want to savor what I'm eating right now, like the texture, the the flavor, the smell. I mean, I want to cherish it. I want to. I want to keep it. I, I don't even want to brush my teeth tonight because it's so good. Ah. Well, fat is flavor, right? But, hey, you're right. This one's like all fat. Let me just cut this out just a little bit. Yeah. 
That thing's gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> this thing here is natural lip gloss lip gloss man this thing is natural lip gloss no joke <laughs> bro tell me bro <clears throat> i'm telling you i literally um had to cut out so much fat on this already because it wasn't really trimmed up. I had to French the bone and man. I could, I could, I could. No, I mean I say I save the fat. Don't worry, I save the fat. Um But I like to save more of the pork fats usually. Like beef fat, I'll keep it. I'll keep a little bit. I don't keep it too much. Yeah, I can't break this down, but if I had a pan, I'd probably render this down. Ooh, could make some fries with this fat. Some beef fat fries. If you don't know, you don't know. That shit is good. If you guys haven't tried wasabi before, if you guys never tried wasabi on steak, I highly recommend it. I'm not kidding. This thing is perfect for steak. This, like, it cuts out, like, you know, the greasiness of it all. Gone. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Not crazy. Yeah, with fish, right? But next time, next time, next time you get some steak, like a ribeye, something, not a filet, I think filet mignon maybe like doesn't have enough fat. And that's why I don't, <clears throat> I don't know why people... I don't know why they charge so much for filet mignon. I mean, obviously, I understand it's because there's so less of it, like tenderloin. And it's good. It's tender. But if you want a real steak, if you want a good steak, I say a ribeye all day. And I think after today, I say tomahawk all day. I can't imagine anything else. I mean, maybe not pay 30 bucks every time. But, I mean, this thing is probably like going to... Probably cost me like 80, 90 bucks if I was supposed to eat at a restaurant, but thank you, Costco. 38 bucks for a tomahawk. I'll do it once in a while. Yeah, right? No, Charlie, man. You don't know how good this is, bro. Let me just. I can't stop. I mean, and don't worry, the meat, this bone, we're going to get to this bone later. It's a shame. Perfect pink all the way up, all the way around, you know, top to bottom. Power sous vide. I'm telling you, if you guys, if you guys have some time to cook your steak, and you happen to have a sous vide, you should sous vide your steaks. It's my preferred method, honestly. I mean, if I have time. I mean, I can. I like to grill it once in a while too, but. Oh, my parents love it. My parents already killed theirs. I, I mean, I went upstairs and they like cut it in half. Like already broke out pieces for my sister. And then, um, thanks for the subscription, Charlie. Thank you, bro. 
I'm already digging into it. They were scared it was a little too tired, but they did their uh, usual Korean thing, you know, cut it out and they eat around it. I mean, I think this plate is keto worthy, right? I mean, that's perfect for keto, right? Minus the beer. <clears throat> so, to tell you how it all started was like a couple weeks ago, I was like, maybe I should start keto. Because I've done it before and, you know, lost a good amount of pounds. And um, I was like, man, I should get a steak. What's better than a steak? But ended up with a big ass tomahawk steak. <laughs> uh, I seasoned it with just really um. Well, I had I had some black truffle sauce, so I put some black truffle sauce and some grapeseed oil, uh, a little salt, no pepper, honestly, um, because I had this like barbecue. Um, Dry rub from Memphis that I got a few years back. I just found it in the cupboard. And I figured I'd just throw it on here. Um, you know, just massaged it up and then sous vide. That's all I did. But, damn. Came out pretty good. Yeah, I wish I could say it's a baby tomahawk. But, I mean... Look at this thing. That was the size of my face before I started. And nothing like I've never had food that's like size of my face. Honestly, I think at this point, this is probably the best steak I've ever had. Like by far, like restaurants, whatnot, whatever. I mean, and I made it, but damn, I made a hell of a steak. But I think it's it's just the meat purely. Thank you, booty. Thanks for the follow. I mean, by far. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'm sure. I mean, I I mean, I I'm into like those fancy like the palms and whatnot. I mean, I'm sure they're really good. Um. I went to like um, Michelin Star Steak Restaurant in DC once, and got a I got a T-bone there. I thought that was amazing because it was like Wagyu, whatever A5. I mean, it was really good. It was really good, but I think this one tops it today. Like by far, just so juicy, so tender flavors. I mean, I probably won't be able to make the same thing tomorrow, even if I try, but. Wow. Glorious. There's moments like this that makes me happy that I. This, this is the moments like this that makes me want to grill all the time. Grill, sous vide. But. And this is also the reason I, I like to see it every time. A5 Wagyu? I did. I've, I've only tried it. Well, I haven't tried A5 Wagyu, I think. But I mean, I've tried Wagyu steak. But I don't know what A5 would, would have been. I haven't had opportunity to try Wagyu. Um, <clears throat> that, that thing's really expensive. But I mean, I've always wanted to try it. Uh, back and forth, like I've seen like olive wagyu nowadays. There's so many things going on. <laughs> yeah, Costco. All right. I know. Man, this thing. Look, this thing was twelve nine. It was like eleven ninety nine a pound. And that's the best thing I've ever had. No, this is just uh bell peppers. I mean, I've had Hanu, which is Korean. Hanu is... I mean, people say Hanu is almost as good as A5. I mean, I saw... I mean, 
You talk about marbling. That thing is. I've seen pictures of A5 and it's like white all around. It's just like white lines all over the meat. Hanu has white lines all over the meat. And. Well, Korean beef is so expensive, man. Like $100 a pound just for like a little. I bet you if I had a tomahawk that size, probably like grand. Yeah. It's just not like worldly known like Wagyu is, you know? And Kobe beef. At the end of it. What is this? Just like... I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure Wagyu would be pretty hella amazing. But. Oh, hell yeah. That's. Bro, Mikey. Don't worry about that, man. That's. This This is um another thing on its own. I, w I wouldn't eat a tomahawk if I wasn't going to eat it off the bone, you know? I would have just got a ribeye. This is the best part, thing. Always, meat off the bone is the best. I mean, personal opinion. Um, personal opinion, I think. Yeah, even chicken. Chicken wings, traditional, off the bone. Better than chicken, you know, boneless chicken. All day. Thing was like falling apart. Or first bite, it literally was falling out of my, my mouth. It's just <sighs> so sad. The last bite of this meat. <clears throat> Hello. So juicy in there. And if y'all want to clip it, make sure you clip it after because I got like juice all over my mouth afterwards. It looks blues. Thanks for the follow. Now this fat is like already solidifying. <clears throat> so I don't know if y'all like Watch PUBG or nothing, but I've been sleeping kind of late past couple of days trying to watch PUBG because there's an international tournament going on in Korea. It's all going on Korean time. Tomahawk. I guess this is this is what makes it a tomahawk. I know it looks really black and charred. But it's like, it's charred because of um, the the barbecue seasoning. So it's not really like, it's burnt, it's not burnt, it's just a char. It's really good though. What's good, Jim Boy? Yeah, man, you missed out. I mean, I mean, it's not you missed out, it's just I ate too fast. Like, because this thing was so damn good, I just killed it. I killed it. But. Hello? Hello? Next. Hello? I mean, I could, like, kill somebody with this thing. It's so big. Oh, is that? That's the real deal. 
but there's a little fat good amount of fat i'll probably rip that off a little bit Let me just collect a little bit of this fat off. I think that's another bone. And then lather on some wasabi. Damn. Oh, sorry, definitely clear my nose up. Oh, yeah? Brad, do you like wasabi? Do you like it a little bit? I don't know. Do you like the flavor of it? If you do, I mean, if you're willing to give it a try, give it a try. <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta give it a try. I mean, trust me. Like, don't, don't, don't bag it until you try it. I mean, I didn't, I thought, of, I thought, of, I thought it was weird too at first, but shoot. Better than any hot sauce out there. Musu, I don't want to. I want to cherish this feet. I want to cherish all this juice all over my mouth. I can see why the barbarians did it this way. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm that guy that <clears throat> goes to a fancy restaurant, gets a T-bone steak. And I'll sit on there gnawing on the bone like this. I'm not lying. I've done it. My friends felt, my friends were so embarrassed. No, you know what? The chef came out. He said, you're doing the right thing, bro. And I was. You know, you, you compliment the chef. Just how good his grilling skills were. By eating all, down to the bone. You know? Thought this was gonna come off. That's not. Mm. Those backbones and mirror. Yeah, you know what's up, Mikey. No, there's nothing in here. Damn. Now I'm kind of mad. I French so much meat off the bone here. Would have been pretty nice to bite into. But yeah. Wow. That was delicious. That was delicious. I bet you it probably came out to like, probably around like two and a half. Huh? Yeah, 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 it is like slipping ramen. I was like, it's really hard to grill, so the bone, like the bone part, gets really nice and you know, grilled up. But 
With the sous vide, it never fails. I'm still trying to find little pieces that I can eat. Wow. Man, I just, you know what? I'm about to just have a steak every week, y'all. I had it was so good. Let's get those subscri subscriptions up so I can get me that A5 and then show you the A5 Wagyu. That I'll probably try to share with, with some more people, you know. But, um, give me a minute. Let me go wash my hands. Let's get some of this sorted out real quick. Mm-hmm. I still can't. Wow. Oh, go ahead. So, so good. All right, let me put some of this away real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can balance things fairly well, decent enough. Oh, and if you uh, if you guys recommend, if you guys need a recommendation on wasabi, you can find it. Go for this guy. Go for this brand. I think it's the best one. I think it tastes the best. It's got the kick. Um, it's and it's actually got a flavor. It doesn't just like just kick you out of nowhere. Like I've seen so many that are just kind of like whatever. But it looks kind of like this guy, SMB Wasabi. And I think I got the hotter one. But even the regular one is good. Trust me. That's the, that's the real deal. I like it. Hey, why not? You know, that's why I eat it on Monday. So you guys have a whole week to try it out. You know, give it time out what you guys want to eat throughout the week. Maybe a steak is in order. Who knows? Hell yes, this thing looks delicious, man. Uh, what games? I haven't really been, I've been, I play PUBG, just mainly PUBG nowadays. Um, I used to play like Cyberpunk, finish Cyberpunk after that. I don't really have many games to play, you know? Um, try COD, wasn't very good at COD. Um, now Carmen, what, what games do you guys play? <laughs> oh, Apex was way too much for me. I've seen you. I watched you guys play Apex a couple times. That was too good. Oh, way too good for me. I don't. I'd probably be so lost. All those, all the different skills and everything. I just like to be that guy who picks up a gun and just shoot.
basic. Like, not as basic as CS, but just basic in the battleground world, you know? Um, right. So, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll hit you guys up. We'll play some time. All right. So, my friends, I had a small giveaway. Um, I don't know if y'all know, if you guys noticed. It was on my uh, Instagram a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, and um, there weren't too many people that signed up or left a comment. So I got four people in the drawing. Y'all could have been in the drawing too, but y'all missed out. I'm sorry. But um, I got Shku, 25, Musu Tank, Angry X Llama, and Spooky underscore Cancer. All right, I am gonna get a random number generator and we'll just go from there. So the giveaway was actually for a condenser mic from Toner. Uh, not sponsored or anything. I just happened to buy one and Amazon messed up and sent me one. And then take it back. So yeah, it was they. I, I thought it was like on the ship that lost all the shipment a few 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 weeks ago, a few months ago. Um, but but uh, yeah. Let me find a. All right, so we have four people. And which one should we use? Let's use a list randomizer. Why don't we? Redland, Anyaseo. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Anyaseo. Alright, we have school. Mosu tank. I mean, I, I guess I, I'm kind of glad that I don't have to type out so many names. Although I wanted to, but what can I say? This is how it came. This is how it has become. So, y'all see the names? They're all here. Ooh, thanks for the cheers. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Redlin. Appreciate you. Sorry you missed out on the food. I, I mean, I hope you were here for the food. I mean, if you were, please say hi earlier next time. I like to see. I like to uh, say hello before you guys come back. So, I think because there's four. Um, there's four. It's February eighth. Let's do um, four plus eight twelve times. Just cause it's my stream. I get to choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just randomize this 12 times and then whoever ends up on top will be winner of the microphone. Honestly, it's a great mic. I think uh, my friends use it. Um, they like it and I like it. I obviously have a different one, but it's a good starter mic for anybody that wants to stream or, you know, get into YouTube and record. Um, it's a condenser mic. And it comes with like a boom mic, uh, boom arm, like these things, and then a shock and a uh, pop filter. Pretty much anything, just it's the basics that you need, the basic mic you need to get started streaming and you know, record on YouTube. So, here we go. 
Let's get the countdown. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And this is the final one. So far we got Spooky Cancer. Sorry I misspelled the name. A Pookie. Um Musu Tank. Screw and Angry Llama X. Final one. Alright, Angry X Llama. I hope you watch the stream so you can DM me and send your send your an email. You know, and send this address over to you. But honestly, if you don't DM me on Instagram, I don't know. You got a week. If you don't got a week, this thing's going back over another giveaway. Good luck. But uh, congratulations for winning it for now. Um, hope you're watching. Hope you rewatch. I don't know if you're friends with them. Tell them. Go ahead. Um, or don't tell them so you guys have a chance next time. But um, yeah, Toner and Mike will go to Angry X Llama. Oh. <laughs> we'll see we'll see about that yeah I guess goose on the next on the list so we'll see but I mean I'm sure we'll do this maybe later on maybe another uh, maybe once I hit a hundred subscribers we'll do another giveaway um, I'm not sure yet what but uh, what are you guys interested in you know what do you guys want to see uh, maybe I'll send you guys like a knife it is a mukbang channel after all. Maybe maybe a big ass fork. Like a big fork. Or maybe I'll just send you a big tomahawk steak. Or if you're local or close by, I'll make you a tomahawk steak. Who knows? These are my babies. They are not going anywhere. They will never go anywhere. Oh, maybe I should have done... You had to be watching the stream to win. But it is the first one. So, it is what it is. But, congratulations, Llama. If you're around, or if you are re-watching the stream, make sure to DM me on Instagram so I can get you your mic. Um, yeah. I mean, we have some snow over here. Hope you guys have some snow. And were you guys able... To, I mean, I hope you guys got a chance to enjoy it. Um, I know some people were hoping it stuck around a little longer so they don't have to go to school. What not? Um, yeah, but and the whole <sighs> try that beer. It's totally good. Oh, and also one more time, thank you for Insania for sponsoring the steak today. Um, like I mentioned before. If you guys are into Pokemon cards or some kind of sports trading cards, I know it's like the big hype thing nowadays. I did a video about it, maybe like my second or third stream. Um, he gets the cards. I mean, I know it's pretty hard to get cards, but he gets packs, he gets boxes, and he's um he always does breaks. I think it's like a whole new stream break. Um, yeah, he's out there, so make sure you check out his channel if you guys are ever into that stuff. You know. Yeah, and um, as always, Instagram's available. Uh, I have a tw Twitter, but I'm kind of borderline. Maybe not close. Might close it. Um, and so I got a few more things going on. I think next week it is supposed to be Taco Bell. Maybe might might be doing Taco Bell. You know. All right, good looks, bro. Hey, good seeing you again, man. Study hard. You know, and um, see you next week, hopefully, you know. Yeah, maybe Taco Bell, I don't know. 12 box, 12 taco challenge, who you know. Um, and then I think the following week, I'm on the road. I mean, so I'll be traveling to North Carolina. So, peace out, Brad. Um, 
I'll be in North Carolina for the weekend, fishing, camping, so I might have some content. Maybe do some live live stream on my phone right? since since it actually works. Um, I might want to get a mic for it, um, but yeah, a uh, few cool things coming ahead. You know, in a few weeks. Um, make sure you tune in on Mondays, uh, and then just make sure you have. Um, your alert set so you get my alert when I go stream live. I might stream a lot. Who knows? Uh, like I mentioned last week, I'm going on an Escalade down to North Carolina. We're trying to get a change, but if not, we have an Escalade. We're driving down to North Carolina, so it's got to be balling ass car for some dudes going fishing. Who knows? But, um, oh, what's good, Fallen Potato? I didn't even know, I didn't even recognize you were here, man. But, good seeing you, good seeing you. Yeah, but, I'm always available if you guys want. Just comment, you know, hit me up. Uh, make sure you continue to follow. And thank you for all your subscriptions and all your uh, follows. And, you know, just spending a few hours with me, you know, on on a Saturday, or on a Monday. Um, but, hope you guys all have a great week, you know. Um, like I said, it was going to be a short stream because I ate that thing real fast. Uh, it's a mukbang. <laughs> it's not a talk show. But, yeah. Look forward to uh, seeing you guys again next week and look forward to eating more. Um, again, god damn, that tomahawk steak was really good. Still gonna dream about it. Still thinking about it. I can still smell it in my hands now, even though I wash my hands. I know it's gross, but it was that good. So if you guys ever get a chance, make sure you go to Costco, get yourself a tomahawk, throw in some sous vide. And I know y'all, some might do that, some might not, but don't forget the wasabi. Alright, but uh, stay warm, I think snow's in the weather for, for me at least, I don't know if it is for you, but stay safe, mask up, stay corona safe too. But um, hope you guys see. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Hope you guys had a good time, and I'll see you guys again next week. How's that? All right. Nothing out.